The FTC's proposed rule banning non-competes is not currently in effect. The FTC isn't expected to vote on the rule until April 2024. If you ask certain federal agencies, they'd probably say no, non-competes are not enforceable under federal law. However, the answer is just not that simple. Recently, the NLRB filed a complaint against an Ohio company alleging that its non-compete, non-solicit, confidentiality, and non-disparagement provisions that it included in its agreements and handbook violated the National Labor Relations Act. You also had the NLRB General Counsel issue a memorandum stating that non-competes may violate the National Labor Relations Act. You also had the DOL and FTC issue a joint memorandum of understanding stating that they were going to work to fight against what they called unfair competition, including the use of non-compete provisions that are one-sided and included in employment agreements. It's not clear entirely what the impact of these federal actions will be, as non-competes and other restrictive covenants have generally been enforced and governed by state law, but we'll just have to see what happens. The authority that federal agencies have to institute such a ban is just not entirely clear, and such a ban would be questionable as a result. Further, even if the ban was implemented, it's just not clear the level of resources the federal government would devote to enforcing such a ban. Yes, the New York legislature passed a non-compete ban back in June. However, Governor Hochul has not signed the bill, and it's not clear whether she will sign the bill, and if she does, whether she'll sign it as is or require amendments be made to it. California recently passed two laws that will expand upon its already broad non-compete protections for employees effective January 1st. Currently, California law has been interpreted to prohibit non-competes and certain non-solicit provisions. So the first law will prohibit employers from enforcing or entering into any contracts containing such provisions regardless of where and when the contract was signed and whether the employee was employed outside of California. The law will also create a private right of action for employees. Then we have the second law, which explicitly voids and prohibits the inclusion of non-competes in employment contracts and in the employment context, subject to certain pre-existing exceptions. It also requires employers to notify current and recent former employees who are subject to unlawful non-competes that their non-compete is void. Given the breadth of these laws, attorneys representing employees in non-compete and non-solicit cases will likely try to find and capitalize on any connection they can to California to argue that California law should govern and thereby render void the relevant non-compete and non-solicit, and this could lead to a number of jurisdictional issues for courts to resolve. Recently, we've seen states ban non-competes, either altogether or for employees who make below a certain salary threshold or satisfy other criteria. Uh, just by way of example, as we've discussed in recent Labor Speaks, we had Minnesota pass a non-compete ban, and recently Delaware courts have struck down non-competes, including in the sale of business and profits interest context. It's important to work with your outside counsel regularly to review your agreements, including the scope of the restrictions and the choice of law provisions. As we've discussed today, Courts have increasingly struck down non-competes and other restrictive covenants that they probably otherwise would have enforced in recent years. So it's important to have a plan to address the risk in your agreements and work with outside counsel to do so. As always, if you have any questions about this evolving area of law or any other employment questions, feel free to contact a member of our team.